Hello! This is going to be a pretty short video. I talked a lot about what's going on right now in the skies uh, with the last video with Mars and Taurus and, and Mercury and Cancer. But we are going to touch a little bit on that for today. But I recommend checking out the last video I did to get more information on that. Um, so, Moon has been in Sagittarius for all of today, Sunday, and it will be there for all of tomorrow, Monday. And this is giving us a good optimistic start to the week. And it's also a nice lead in to the full moon that we'll be experiencing on Tuesday and Wednesday. And I know a lot of people, when it comes to things like full moons or eclipses, they tend to like freak out or they think it's bad. It's, it's not bad. There's no such thing as bad energy, but certain energies are going to be a bit mm, smoother and more challenging than others. I think that this full moon, we're looking at a, a pretty smooth full moon overall. I don't see anything of major concern to look at. Uh, we'll, we'll get into that for Tuesday when we do that video, but um, oh, before I forget, I just want to say, as always, I'm doing readings, info in the description to do readings, uh, to book a reading with me, we can cover whatever you like, but um, I think that with, with this week starting this Monday, so I think for tomorrow, I think the key thing to focus on uh, is what are you feeling, I think two things. What are you feeling optimistic about? What are you feeling really upbeat about? What's bringing enthusiasm and joy to your life? What's making you feel like there are endless possibilities? And to keep growing that, to keep feeding that. And potentially, what beh behavioral patterns, what habits, what beliefs, what assumptions, etc. are keeping you from this what what is keeping you stuck in negative thought patterns holding yourself back etc if you're not enjoying this this moon energy that's a really good sign that it's time to take a really in-depth look at what emotionally needs to be brought to conscious attention and released as per i think especially habits from the past again assumptions beliefs things that are limiting our joy and maybe we don't even realize it maybe patterns that we picked up from parents or from childhood those around us etc could be our peer group etc um, an example of this might be oh I don't believe in myself because other people said that I'm not good enough to do this or other people around me didn't believe in themselves so why should I believe in myself it's like Ultimately, we all are meant to experience abundance in life, abundance of mental, emotional, physical, financial, spiritual abundance, great, everything that we need and more. Um, but we can get in the way of that sometimes. And sometimes it's a matter of timing and whatnot, but so much of it has to do with our own manifestation powers. And I think with these energies that we have out there right now, it's a pretty clear people are either really on track and they're moving forward and they're in tune with their subconscious and they're in tune with their their super consciousness their spirituality you know their connection to god the universe or they're stuck and they're feeling like i how do i get out of this circular difficulty um it seems like i keep struggling it seems like i'm not moving forward right and for all of us the opportunity is there with mars and taurus and with Uranus and Taurus as well to break out of that rut. So I think that today, Monday, is a really good opportunity to take a look at this. And if we're feeling on top of things, beautiful. Let's enjoy that and let's promote that even further so we continue to feel on top of things. If we're feeling stuck, let's look at, like I said before, let's look at our emotions, let's look at our past, let's look at the assumptions, the beliefs. We need to take a look at our, our mind and our heart and how our, our thoughts and our emotions are interconnecting or maybe how they're not quite aligned. Uh, and astrology is wonderful for that, being able to pull up a birth chart and understand ourselves to a deeper level to understand the different transits that we're going through. That's incredibly helpful. Um, so I think one last thing, part of why this is such a buoyant optimistic time is not only because the moon is in Sagittarius but Jupiter is in Aries Jupiter rules Sagittarius so there's a boost there but they're also trying each other Jupiter and, and the moon are trying each other right now which means they're in a very favorable aspect it's very easy for them to work together their needs are similar their gifts are similar so the the gift here I think is looking at the long term so especially if you're feeling stuck uh, or even if you're feeling like things are pretty smooth 
let's look at the long term of life again this this Monday is a great day to look at this and okay what am I excited about what's helping me to feel like again there are no limits to my success to the goodness in life to my abundance and let's keep moving forward let's foster that let's keep developing that uh, now and also over the course of this entire year because Jupiter will be in Aries for the year so this is again I think that if you're not enjoying today I mean it is Monday so there's some drudgery there but overall if you're not enjoying today that is a sign that it's important to go inwards and to introspect and to kind of figure out what's going on internally and again I'm happy to help with that uh, or if things are going good I'm happy to help with that um, I think that's the main thing I think one last thing with the moon being in Sagittarius square Neptune and Pisces especially over the course of Monday night it's really good to it's good to enjoy ourselves in moderation of course in life that's a key part of what life is all about but it's good to not go to excess that can be a potential uh, I think especially when it comes to alcohol but it really could be any kind of substance or any kind of activity you know let's enjoy ourselves but let's not go overboard with it that could be I think what some people are feeling stuck with at this time is that Mars and Taurus and one last thing I know we covered this in the last video but the thing with Mars and Taurus if you are feeling stuck just get it started just get it started it doesn't have to be this big thing you know if you've been putting off some kind of major change that you need to make or transformation or whatever just do a little bit just get it started it doesn't have to be you don't have to make up for lost time just just clock in handle that that beginning phase and It'll get progressively easier over the course of the next five and a half weeks uh, with Mars being in Taurus. Infinite love to you, my friends. Namaste. Peace.